Well, you know, Aaron, it's just a tight-knit community. It's a small community here. Everyone knows everyone, especially at this school with about 300 or so students. This shooting really rocks the foundation of things out here, and it caught everyone off guard. I heard a lot of shouting and um, police running through the hall. As the horror unfolded on the second floor of Freeman High School today, teachers and staff at the school jumped into action. Our coach came and said this is real, went into the back coach's room, stayed there for a while until we got escorted out. He says with only around 300 students, everyone knows everyone. That means the three students who were shot and injured, the shooter, and the student that was killed as he tried to stop it all. It's a small school, so, you know, you, one person gets hurt and it affects everyone. His first thoughts? And I was worried about my friends and I was I was in a bad state of mind because I was just like, I was worried. And while no identities have been released yet, he says he was in a drama class with the shooter and would have even been on the same bus. As for the student who died? He was in the grade below me and I was shocked. Um, he was a nice kid and uh, never harmed anyone. And as the school and community mourns for the lost student and regathers the pieces of its shaken foundation, thoughts go to the injured students. I'm just praying for uh, the victims right now that are in the hospital. And those students we've been told are in stable condition, but just to paint a picture of uh, the emotions out here after all this happened, parents were walking out with their children, uh, embracing, holding hands. Many of them had tears running down their faces, thankful to be alive, but this community really hurting for the victims and their families. Aaron.